Of the soybeans planted in Nebraska this spring, 95% were a herbicide tolerant variety. While that technology has allowed farmers to control weeds in a different way, resistance in those weeds has spread at an alarming rate. At a recent weed management field day near Clay Center, we talked with Amit Jala about new soybean varieties that could eventually come to market and the importance of weed management plans when they do. For the last few years, uh, we have been testing dicamba resistant soybean uh, that will also be resistant to glyphosate. So it's more like a combination of uh, dicamba plus uh, glyphosate resistant soybean. And uh, we have seen some good results, uh, especially in the last few years. We have conducted experiments in Lincoln to control glyphosate resistant maristale. And uh, we had some good results because uh, you can apply dicamba on top of the soybean. Otherwise, soybean is usually very sensitive to dicamba, but this dicamba cultivar that is being developed is resistant to dicamba as well. So you can apply dicamba actually two or three times in a split application. What about Balanced GT? Is that a variety as well? Balanced GT is a new herbicide resistant soybean that might commercialize in near future. Uh, Balance uh, Flex is a, actually corn herbicide. Uh, where uh, active ingredient is isoxaflutol. So now industry is coming up with uh, soybean variety that will be resistant to this isoxaflutol herbicide. And uh, this will be actually the first uh, soybean variety that will be resistant to any pre-emergence herbicide. Because whatever currently available in the market, uh, for example, glyphosate resistant soybean that are resistant to glyphosate uh, and also liberty link soybean that is resistant to glyphosinate uh, liberty herbicide. Those are both uh, post-emergence herbicides, but this balance city is the first uh, uh, variety of uh, soybean that will be resistant to residual herbicides uh, like isoxaflutol. So it might provide an additional pre-emergence herbicide uh, tool for soybean growers uh, to include in their overall weed control program. When the first resistant varieties of soybeans came to the market, farmers loved them because they were uh, easier to control. But now that these are coming and we've seen resistance issues develop in weeds, what are the important things for growers to know before they, you know, just use this, a similar plan than they would have in the past? Uh, I think growers um, should learn from the experience. Uh, the way we have used uh, glyphosate resistant soybean is probably responsible for creating or evolving herbicide resistant weeds now. So now growers know that if we will relying on single herbicide or single herbicide mode of action, then at some point we would end up with uh, having herbicide resistant weeds. So I think now from past experience, uh, growers will try to include uh, some other herbicides or herbicide with different mode of actions or different uh, uh, methods for weed control for overall herbicide program or overall weed control program. The two varieties that we've talked about today, when could they become commercially available? Uh, there is no any exact answer because uh, there are a number of factors uh, involved in this. Uh, currently, dicamba resistant soybean is under environmental impact assessment uh, by USDA. So when that uh, environmental impact assessment will be completed, uh, it might be available for commercial release. Uh, and I think it is same thing with uh, balanced city soybean. It is under, currently under um, trials by industry and also in university trials. So for the last couple of years, we have been testing this both uh, dicamba resistant soybean plus uh, balanced city soybean. And also we are also testing 240 resistant soybean. So all three varieties are, nothing is available commercially right now and it is hard to say when, but uh, at some point it might be available.